this I like better. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. This is just awesome. All right. So what you'll be using, these are actually a pair of ornaments from Hobby Lobby. It says Christmas 2019, and it's just one piece that they didn't even name it anything. I'm sure it's like Buffalo check or something. But what I did was I glued these to the plate. Okay. And most of the items are going to be Dollar Tree. The rest of the items are going to be these from Hobby Lobby. And that's about it. I mean, you could use a charger plate. Um, we used a little cheese snack plate the other night. Okay, now these are wooden dowels. It says 1 8 by 12. And I know you can get these at um, Dollar, Dollar Tree. I'm looking for my knitting needle. Oof, here it is. All right, so what we're going to do, these are actually styrofoam underneath here. Okay, so we're going to actually be poking a little hole down the middle. Okay, it's hard breaking that felt. There we go. All right, and then we're going to be inserting these and gluing these in. Now, yes, you're going to need the whole, what is it, 12 inches. Okay, so just for a little stability, I'm going to put a little glue down the hole. I'm hoping that they stay. Uh, the glue is still not holding to the plate. Dang it. Come on. Well, when all else fails, get out your scissors and clip a bigger hole. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm probably going to cut myself. I should probably put my address on here. <laughs> Because somebody might have to call 911 for me. I'm going to glue this styrofoam back down. If all else fails, I'll just use the legs on that until this dries, but at least I can show you what I did. Okay. Alright, you're going to put that all the way down. Now why is it sticking up? Did okay on the on the tray. On the tray, the other one I did the other night, I used E6000, okay, and I put a weight on it overnight. You see, I just tried this a little while ago, and I should have gotten down to it sooner, but I didn't. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Cassandra. I made, I did boil eggs for devil eggs, so... It's kind of hard. I'm on the keto diet now, and come on. So, and my family's not, so I'm like cooking two meals. All right. We got in. Woohoo! All right. So, basically, you're going to use the E6000, let it set up overnight, okay? And you're just gluing the bottoms of the feet to the tray. All right. And it's just wanting to do its own thing. Let's see if that helps. All right. So the next item you're going to use is a Dollar Tree Christmas tree. And what you're going to do is you're going to take off all the tinsel. can find the end. There we go. Probably going to have to use the other tray to show you how it's done because this probably is not going to stay since it's not. Nope. It might have something to do with the charger plate too, but we'll see. All right, so you take all the tinsel off save it for another project. 
what I'm going to do. We're going to take the other one apart. All right, because these are not going to stay put for me. So let's just take all this stuff off the tray. And move this aside. Basically, look at that rock is too. Oh well. So basically what you're doing is you're gonna take this, okay, and you're gonna wrap around the dowel rod. You're gonna glue and just wrap and wrap and wrap all the way up to the top. Give yourself about an inch at the top, all right? Then you're gonna take some soft snuggle stocks from the Dollar Tree. They don't have a lot of snuggle socks in a variety of colors. Now I did find this blue yesterday. I did have this blue, which I could have done that with, and I probably still will. But to show you, I wanted to do it this way. You're gonna take a little bit of polyester fiber fill Okay, and you're going to put it in the toe of the sock. In each one. The socks are going to be your pants and your arms for this. So this is so much easier than the other thing. Okay, so I ended up poking a hole through the sock. I'm just going to leave it out to the side because you're going to end up probably mushing it down a little and then we're going to tie it with some uh, ribbon which oh that's over here somewhere so see that's creating the pants so you've got no sew here whatsoever okay Thank you everybody for spreading the love. I so appreciate it. So we're giving this poor guy some pants and a shirt, right? And it's just gonna lay on top of here. You can put some fiber fill down here or you can just kinda, this is one thing we did do. We covered it up, okay? Made them kinda look like he had cankles. <laughs> so we're just gonna do it like that. You can cover this with white felt, you can cover this with fiber fill, and, and then you can spot glue it just to leave it sit on top, okay? I'm just looking to see if you have any questions. Dawn's on here. Dawn, if you can, would you mind sharing the link to our group? We have a group of seven designers, ladies. I'm looking for the ribbon. Let me look one more place. I'm trying to bring everything down at once. There we go. There it is. Okay. All right. So from the Dollar Tree, you get these blocks of styrofoam. Now it says on here 2.9 inches by 3.9 inches by 3.9 inches. So what I did was I cut it in half. I actually have a knife that is from an electric knife. It's just the blade and I use that for cutting. It does a really great job. Okay. So with this you're gonna stick this up in here. And you're only gonna need half a piece, okay? Because this is what's gonna hold the hat to his shoulders. You following me? Thank you, Charlotte. 
I really appreciate it. There, Dawn showed the first time watching. Charlotte's first time watching. Where are you watching from, Charlotte? Is it cold where you are? I hope not. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of this just to kind of create a ball-like hand on the end. And that's going to be his hand, his, like, mitten, okay? My little helper went home. And she said, make sure when you're on your live today to tell LaVon, who's not on right now, there she is. Hey, LaVon, I have instructions from my little granddaughter to tell LaVon that we redid this and we're still going to jack it up. <laughs> she loves jacking it up. She didn't know what that term meant. She was funny. What does jack it up mean? I said, that's when we add all the stuff at the end and make it look pretty. All right, so we've got the socks over the dowels sitting on top of the ornament, okay? And then this is going to go on top of here. Now, if you're not a sewer, okay, and you don't want to make a hat, all right, it's very easy to just take any Santa hat in Dollar Tree, all right, and do that. <laughs> it's a little big, but all you have to do is that. Just tuck it over and hot glue it. And then see, you've got it, all right? So before we put this on, I'm going to show you how I do the beard, okay? Now what I usually do is start, there's little notches on here, all right? I usually try to start past these two here, all right? Now in the beginning, I don't know how long I want this, so what I'm going to do is just tie a bunch on. All right, and leave them a little bit long because at the end we can go back and trim it and what I always do is I always cut cut them the same length now on each end you should be able to get two tie two on and then in the middle you can get about four here and about two more here okay can you guys all see okay I appreciate the spreading of the love. Because many chats not doing so well with Facebook. Okay, so you're just you're just tying it like you would a pair of shoelaces. You're just making the first tie and trimming. So I got two four. We're going to go for two more on this side of that notch. My, grandma, my granddaughter wanted to do the live before she left. It's <laughs> like, can we do the live before I go? I think I created a little monster. She loved her ballerina tree and she drug it from one end of the house to the other and I had glitter in five rooms. So I've been <laughs> sweeping up glitter this morning. All right, then we're going to go two more here. And don't worry about the length because you are going to trim it once we decide where we want it to fall over top of the boots. If we want some of his legs show or if we want to bury his legs this was inspired by Wilhelmina 
because she did a really cute gnome the other day with a pair of boots. She did like an evergreen. So I wanted to do something a little different. Okay, so there's your beard, all right? Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna punch two holes in this, okay? And then we're gonna glue it and attach it to the shoulders. All right, now these should come a little bit closer together. So I'm just gonna use this to kinda eyeball where I wanna stick a hole, okay. Then I'll use my knitting needle. I'll put a little hot glue on the end of the dowel rods. Again, this is so far all Dollar Tree except for the yarn, which is the big um, chunky yarn, and the, the shoes, the, the shoe ornaments. And what you want it to do, you want it to kind of lean towards the back, okay? Because you want your hat to cover the back so you don't really see it. So see how it is so far? All right. I've got it leaning back. Okay. Now this is a one inch ball. Now this is called a knob. See how it lays flat against the one side? It's round so it sits flat. Okay. You don't want a ball because a ball is not going to sit well for you. You want a knob. It's called a wooden knob and it's one inch. So basically you're kind of creating the gnome that I made before with the witch's hat. Okay, but we're doing it on the Christmas tree frame. Okay, now, now that we have this in place, all right, I can kind of see where I want my beard to fall so I can cut what I don't want. And this stuff does get all over, just so you know. Kind of flakes off and such. Okay. Isn't he cute so far? All right, so then I told you you could go ahead and you could use one of these from the Dollar Tree. And then just tuck it in the back but you want it just to sit above his nose you see it all right then for his hands if you wanted you could glue something to his hand now, I'm not going to use this hat but I just wanted to show you a no so version that you could do yourself Okay, I want to use the hat that I made because I'm going to jack it up a little. Which one was it? Was it that one? This one. This is ribbon I got from Michael's. There, it's usually $15, but I got it at 50% off. There's three yards and it's three and a half inches. Now they had this color, this color, and they had a white. I usually end up splitting it, cutting it in half. Let's get these out of the way. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually hot glue it to the bottom of the hat that I made. So I want a little contrast there. I just thought that would be a cute little accent. And I'm really disappointed because I went back to order more from Hobby Lobby of these shoes. And they don't have any more on the website. 
I'm saying they're in store. So I've got some people looking for me. So I got a few ideas for a few that I want to do. This is just one of them. Let's see where we're at. Make that perfect. I actually use this for my carolers for the base of their cape and their um, shawl. seem to be a lot sturdier than the sheets of it that you buy by the yard. It had the little wire in it, so that gave it a little more stability too. Look at that perfect size. It is wire. wired ribbon so you really got to watch I end up usually pulling a bunch of it out and then pulling it back past so that way I know it's not going to be sticking me so I'm gluing along the wired edge tacking it in place and then folding it over There's that wire again. Thank you, dear. Then let's fold over the cut edge, which I use the pink and shears, so there's less fraying. Again, you can use a Santa hat, very simple. That way it'd be a no-sew for you. But if you like sewing, it's very easy to make a pattern for this tree. Now hid. I just thought this color would be a nice contrast. And I do have some gray in the socks, gray, white, and black. do is pull it down over the base of the tree frame. See then it gives it a little contrast to his beard. If you were to use one of the snowman, you know, one of the, the um, Santa hats, it's white against the white. Unless you used a different color for his beard. I may just glue that so it kind of flattens it out and doesn't make it into a big blobby ball. That way it kind of looks like his arm. There we go. I did have some gloves cut out too that I could put on the end if I wanted. Much better. When we were using that mesh the other night, the idea was so you could see his legs, but it kind of made, made her look 
like she had real bony legs. So we decided, you know, you could still use the socks. And if you wanted to give her a, you know, want to make a girl one, you know, then you know, could put that over top. But it seemed to look better when the bottom was more solid and not see-through. Okay. All right, let's let's jack up his plate a little here since he's holding very nicely. <clears throat> I didn't want to lay a lot of greenery in the front. I wanted it more in the back because I want the accent to be on the Christmas balls, which we use three colors. one somewhere and then we kind of stuck this candy out to the side and up a little and we had this over here without the tag okay there's also some of these little curly candies kind of stuck in here. And then we had some candy canes. Just looking to see if you can see okay. If you want, you can glue one of these to his, his so-called hand. So it looks like he's eating candy too. I like these. These are a couple years old because they kind of, they can kind of like attach themselves to stuff just by rolling it on the, on like your wire or whatever. They're fun to decorate with. So there you go. We revamped our, our gnome. And I'll make that one to get that glue to dry. Like I said, they had different, oh, there's, all right, there's the other two balls, just to make it look festive. Now, like I said, they had other colors of these super soft socks, okay? Because I was trying to get as close to the shoe as I could, but, and you can make these blue ones look real festive by just putting a Christmas fabric um, and attaching it to the hat. All right, since we have some time here, I thought we would go on and I'd show you another Christmas tree idea. Okay, let me find the lights. Again, everything was sitting right here. Here we go. All right. Now, I don't think I got this. This is just a, a festive mason jar, okay? I think I got this at Dollar General last year. So what we're going to do with this, you're going to leave this the same as it is. If you wanted to decorate it with ribbon to make it look more farmhouse, you could. Okay, I hot glued some uh, ribbon to the bottom here, the two and a half inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue a couple rows of this roping, which, yeah, I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to do this because I do not want to burn myself. And then I'm just going to wrap it around. I need about an inch of this to cover where the tree is going to sit. So at the back, I'm going to, it's easier to pull it and wrap it. Kind of want to make it look a little farmhouse. Now again, you could, you could do, um, 
you could take the the tree and take all this off and rag it out with ribbon. That would look cute. But this tree fits so nice on top of this jar. And then you fill the inside of the jar with lights and it's really cute. not to put my hand in the glue. And I think I bought these jars last year at Christmas for like 50 cents a dollar. I'm sure even Dollar Tree would have something that resembles the mason jar. I think one more time around and we're good. Okay, now I left the lid off of this. I don't think these will get real hot, but I thought it was best to just leave this part and leave that little seal off. The lights were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Right now they have yellow, green, red, and clear lights. There's 20 in a box. Now if you wanted, you didn't want your cord to show, you could go ahead and get the battery operated ones. Let's see if I can plug this in over here and give you a visual. is not stretching far enough. There you go. Can you see it? Okay. That thing just went out. Oh, geez. I hope I didn't lose you. I'm just losing you on the screen, it looks like. But isn't that cute? At night, what do you think? You know, I've kind of had it with computers. <laughs> they just are not working the way they're supposed to. There we go. But isn't that cute? Now they have different tinsel colored ones, but I thought that just looks really festive. Wouldn't that look cute on the table? Now you could take one of these. Let me see, I have more. You could take one of these and make it a little smaller by trimming it and then use a shorter um, little mason jar and then you'd have like a whole little array of lighted trees on your table. Yes, would that look cute? Now here, these are, now these are all the same. They have these little circles, wispy circles there, but wouldn't that look cute? jacked it up for you. Now, I don't know. Dollar Tree has all these little um, containers that I use for the snowman hat. I don't think they would burn. That would make it a little bit lower. But if you got the smaller jars, these are the big ones. If you got the smaller ones, made the base the same. If you didn't want to use the ribbon, you could just use the rope. Um, it probably would even look cute with some of the ribbon that we have. 
you know, like I have burlap. But wouldn't that look adorable? It's really hard for you guys to see it, isn't it? There we go. Now I got the cord longer. How's that? Now you can see it. It's wanting to move because the cord is plugged in. But you can use the battery ones. So you've got a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. You've got less than five cents in ribbon and rope. Your lights cost you a dollar. You could even leave these the way they are and just stick some light, lights underneath. Have one sitting up, two sitting lower. Still can't really see it, can you? Yeah. How's that? Is that better? There. There we go. You can even put this little guy in back of him. So he looks like he's in the forest. What do you think? I think he looks a lot better than our girl looked. She just didn't look right. Not at all. I don't know what I was thinking, trying to design with my granddaughter and, and get everything done and take care of her. It, it was a challenge. I don't know how some of the moms on this group that, you know, have kids in the house all the time do their designing and this. Um, you even have these. These were a dollar. The little light bulb necklace. You know, you could string one of these around the tree. Wouldn't that look cute? Not so much on this one, but there you go. Okay, I pulled the tab. There, look at that. There it stays on. You could have him with this stretched across. You know, holding lights across like this, like he's going to decorate the trees. And this, this has like three options. You can blink, blink faster, or stay on. But isn't that cute? Does anybody have any questions? Don't you like this better than our little girl? And the only expense really was the the uh, boot ornaments. The rest was Dollar Tree. These were Hobby Lobby Dollar Tree socks. This is that chunky yarn that we used on the witch's gnome. And then you can use a hat that you have, or you can make a hat. I even look at this okay this is one of my finds okay I found this guy I love him so he's actually gonna sit on top of one of these boots isn't that cute I'm gonna redo him on the bottom he's all styrofoam and he's losing some of his snow so we're gonna redo him and then we're going to put him on top of a pair of, so a pair of shoes. Isn't that cute? There's so much you can do. Now you got to be careful, okay, because some of these ornaments, like these ornaments, have the styrofoam in there, all right? The skates have the styrofoam in there. But I'm not sure how I'm going to get the skates to sit in here. I may have to like make a false pile of snow and then adhere, her, adhere the skates down in the snow. Now I have these too because I'm actually going to try and make another character with it. But these, these came four in a pack. They do not have styrofoam. But that's okay because I can stuff styrofoam in there. They go all the way to the bottom. They're kind of like that hard cardboard, you know. But wouldn't that look cute? 
I got a whole thing planned using this and using this because I think this matches it. So that's going to be my next project. I got to get these to glue, the glue to harden. And that, like I said, these were all from Hobby Lobby. They're sold out online. So if you're going to the store, let me know. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to find more of these. Um, they did have some new ones out that were actually the red and black check. But this stands out really nice against this color charger plate. Okay. So there we go. You guys like this one better than the other one? I'm, I'm happy with it. Because I really think that other one just didn't do it. And I mean, see, look, here's another Santa, or snowman, I mean. Isn't that cute? With the little shoes on the bottom. I just thought they were adorable. Who, who joined us? I can't see the comments again. Hi, Susan. Aw, oh, thank you. I put the glasses on, lady. My cheaters. Thank you, Darlene. Charlotte, the, the shoes came from Hobby Lobby. They're ornaments. Okay, they come... The black and white, white ones came in a box. Okay, they have styrofoam. These came from Hobby Lobby, and they were a box of four. And these say $14.99, and it says the Heartland Holiday. I know I paid less than that for them. Because I ordered them online, and I got my 50% off or something. And you could even make mittens. Like I had these that I made out of that foam. So you can even make mittens. I could probably even wrap this around it and make it look like a mitten. But there we go. Now I got you all thinking and you're all going to be running to Hobby Lobby. Think of me because I don't have a Hobby Lobby and now they're closing our AC more. So we'll only have Michaels and our Joann's, they don't carry stuff like this anymore. They went to all like scrapbooking and stuff. So there you go. We did Dollar Tree hat out of the Dollar Tree Christmas tree with Hobby Lobby um, boots with the super soft socks. Okay, so you put one on one leg, one on the other leg, and then this is your arm. So you have your pants and your arm. Okay, you can use a Santa hat if you want. I chose to make my own hat. The Santa hat, you just tuck it in the back and glue it because it's a little big. Oh, you're so welcome, Charlotte. Thank you. And this we did. We took a mason jar. Okay, left this part of the jar off so it can vent. It's not getting hot, but I don't want a fire. So I wanted it just a little airy. And I figure this form is really airy. So... We ended up putting two and a half inch ribbon here and then doing about an inch of the roping, hot gluing it, and then putting this on top. Now you, did you all see the, the ballerina tree that I made? That was done with the loopy yarn on this base. And before we put the loopy yarn on, we attached the lights to it. And then I made the little ornaments and we put the ballerina on the top and we glittered it up, okay? And then you can put, you could put lights on this. I actually had some purple lights left over from Halloween and they went really well with the um, ballerina, the pink ballerina. Okay, so if you wanted these lower and to make a cluster, you could just put the battery operated ones underneath or you can get the smaller mason jar. So they sit up a little high, but not as high as this one. 
I'm just trying to give you some little decorating ideas. It's not always about a wreath, right? Yeah, they don't carry any of that anymore. Thank you. Yeah, if you go back through my lives, my videos, it's one, two, three, four, five, six back where we took the tree and we made it into the ballerina tree. Now I did another one up and I'm gonna make it into a unicorn tree. And then another one is gonna be a Barbie tree. I actually have a Barbie that's gonna sit up at the top, okay? And her dress is the loopy yarn. My granddaughter loved it. She carried it everywhere. I have vacuumed almost all morning. I have glitter from one end of the house to the other. It was in her bed because she had it up on the stand next to her bed. And a few times during the night, she would take it down and play with it and put it back. And, and of course, there was glitter all over her sheets, all over the bedspread, all over the floor. So... I gotta get used to having them in the house. <laughs> I, my grandchildren live three hours away, so they, she's five, so they don't come up that often. And I've got a grandbaby on the way, so I'm trying to get into practice of having grandchildren under feet. All right, I'm gonna head up um, and try and get some decorating done. But if you wouldn't mind, you know, if you want to know when I'm live, type alert or live. And, you know, when the uh, computer gets back to you, type in get started. I'm not going to be sending out um, any more through many chat. Everybody has stopped that. Um, don't forget, we have a paid group where there are seven designers. And we are on Monday nights and Friday nights on that group. If you can't make those times, we do record it. We have a lot of unique and awesome um, designs that we will not do for the public. We only do for our closed group. So um, if you're interested, Dawn did put a link in the comments. If you're interested in joining, it's $19.95 a month. So you get between eight and nine classes a month. And like I said, there's seven of us. You're welcome. Did we jack it up enough? Because <laughs> my granddaughter's going to ask me tonight when she calls, did you tell Levon that you were going to jack it up? <laughs> the things they, they, they get from us, right? Thank you, Melba. Thank you, Darlene. Where are you guys watching from? What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? I'm trying to think what I have planned.